I just don't want to do things. I want to do them perfectly. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a certified coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel and do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video. Recently, one of my clients has talked about burning himself out due to his own expectations. Digging deeper, he noticed the tendencies to be harsh on himself and extremely critical when he thinks he did not achieve perfection. He is unapologetically a perfectionist and in his own admission, that was burning him out. How many of us are like this? I grew up to believe that I needed to be perfect in everything I did. And this helped me tremendously. I was able to achieve many goals, chart myself a nice career and even make fantastic connections. My desire to be perfect in everything continues to help me get better at it. But you can't always win, right? There are many times that I lost as well. I failed miserably. I started avoiding all such situations because I feared failure, of punishment, of losing control, of being laughed at. And those are the areas where I procrastinated and avoided as much as possible. We all have such areas in our lives, isn't it? In his book, Little Bets, how breakthrough ideas emerge from small discoveries, the author Peterson talks about the existence of healthy and unhealthy perfectionism in our lives. This is what I've learned from it. Healthy perfectionism is an internally motivated search for excellence. With this mindset, you will want to put your best forward. So you will create an environment around you that is conducive to this. The focus is more on learning from your failures, adapting to situations and making corrections wherever and whenever needed. Isn't that a good thing? Why then is perfectionism considered to be a limiting belief? Why is it perceived with a negative tone? That is because along with the healthy perfectionism, we also have an unhealthy perfectionism within us. According to the author, unhealthy perfectionism is an externally motivated search for approval. It's wanting other people to look at you and tell you that you're amazing. And if that doesn't happen, you get compulsive, irritated and frustrated. Unhealthy perfectionism is when you have rigid goals, unrealistic expectations and self-criticism if things don't go your way. It hits your self-esteem and confidence. That is when you tend to procrastinate and avoid a lot of things. Left unchecked, unhealthy perfectionism can lead to self-sabotaging behaviors, clinical depression and even thoughts of suicide. And as I said before, we tend to have both in our lives. However, it's important to recognize their presence and the impact they have on us. So here's a question for you. Is there anything right now in your life that is causing you stress and anxiety that is externally motivated? And do you want to make that shift? Do let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and find it resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.